Art is an evolutionary act. Its shape, form and role in society are constantly changing, never static. With art, there are no rules. The concrete jungle that is the country's capital, Nairobi, is undergoing a revival of street art. Simply call it an expression of artistic prowess. This is what has come to define these artists who have turned Kenyatta Avenue into one big canvas. Dipping their paintbrushes into their souls and painting their own nature into works of art. This is a group of friends, artists, uh, environment enthusiasts, people who just joined us and our idea is just to do something about things that we see. You know, my Lord, we don't people like our towns, Jikoje, but we want at least people to enjoy public spaces, to enjoy this town. An idea conceptualized by a few artists who wanted to leave a mark on their city by changing its look. We are saying something like we're saying the town should be better. We're using art to, to speak now. If you look around the flower pots in Akila Kitu, we're beautifying it. Adam Tembea, watch out to slow down. They see the city for what it is. They see how beautiful our town is. Due to the engaging nature of this venture, several artists and city residents also decided to join them, lending a hand the best way they know. Faded out pedestrian crossings are some of the areas that got a revamp with a dash of color, as well as recycled bins and flower pots now bearing a distinctive look. We're proud of the city where people come, there's a hustle and bustle that goes on. Wherever you're from, you come by the city, you're like, oh, by the way, eh, it, uh, it looks really nice. And to be take part of that ownership, say, this is my city, I can take part in beautifying it. Instead of just waiting for the city council to actually do it for you, but I can be part of this process. I'd love them to see Nairobi as a more vibrant city, more beautiful, more multifaceted, because we see Nairobi as just one thing, a business, uh, a business metropolitan, but it's more than that. Because that's our thing when we come, we just saw it online and they came. I'm trying to to come here, I'm going to come here. Apart from it being a license to explore and exhibit one's artistic skills, the initiative dubbed My City, My Mark also has a safety campaign to it. This whole road, Hakuna Zebra Crossings, basically a road that's not even safe for children, it's not safe for anyone. So we just figured at least Achetunde Zebra Crossing Kada to JK Kada. And the other thing is to inspire people to be aware of the environment and to work towards its development. Art that is instigating a bit of very nice social action from every person and also I think it will also build up to the bit where it can also fuel a bit of even policy change in terms of making sure that every three months we say that pedestrian markets have to always be clearly marked. With the county government's approval, the self-funded artists also decided to honor one of the country's heroes, Eliud Kipchoge, with this mural, the epitome of the phrase, no man is limited. Trying to take a bit of ownership, not even asking anything, but actually coming out in numbers and saying, okay, we actually, this is our city, we can leave a mark in our city. Little things basically in a add up to bring big changes. So easy with Ndogondogo to Nafanya, it's just a reflection of more that we would wish to do. With few Kenyans taking time to visit art exhibitions, you could say that art has been brought to the people. The country's capital, Nairobi, the concrete jungle, is slowly becoming a creative hub. And though such streets have been considered dull, this initiative is slowly changing the narrative. Shukriwachu K24, Kenyatta Avenue, Nairobi. Oh, 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 oh.